Right, what I thought I'd do is just a quick second uh, video on this same board. This time I've spun the board over, I've taken away the jig that it was sitting on and it's just resting on the, let me just go back a bit, it's just resting on the framework that I've set up here. Um, I've got the three thermocouples on there uh, again. Uh, the process value is 44 and we're getting 37 and 41 on those thermocouples. Uh, again, I'm sure the variation is just because of the where they are on the uh, on the board rather than then any inaccuracy um, so what we're going to do this time is just leave it zoomed in there we go it's focused that's funny how that green i don't know whether you, you see it on the film but certainly on the viewfinder that the color of the green changes uh, yeah i assume it's the auto white balance um, kicking in somehow uh, right so we're just going to crank this up again it's on 40 one at the moment we're just going to knock this up to I think we'll go for 70 that's it lamps back on I've also put the uh, the LED strip light back into place uh, I'll try not to knock it off this time <laughs> again all of this is just the temporary uh, you know solution just for testing and trialing before we go for a more permanent uh, uh, solution Having had a, uh, a look around, I think the the final solution will probably be made up of uh, four bottom elements and uh, and one top element, obviously in a uh, a shield. And uh, yeah, that's probably the the best way. I've seen some Elstein um, elements that seem very good, and you can also get them uh, from China. And I've, the element I've got here is from China, as I recall. I guess we can't really guarantee the uh, the infrared wavelength that it's producing or uh, or anything else with it really. So yeah, I might go for the the, the better German made elements in the uh, in the long term. Whether they're all individually fired up with thermocouples, uh, haven't quite decided yet. Uh, here's uh, something else. Uh, actually, I don't know what I just talked about in the video that I just recorded that went wrong, or the earlier one. So I'm not okay. I'm going to assume I discussed this in the earlier video, so I won't mention it uh, now. Um, right, we're getting up to 70 degrees now. Uh, we've got 62 and 62 on the uh, two uh, meters on this uh, on this jig. That's overshooting a fraction according to the thermocouple at the at the front there, but again that is resting quite tightly on what looks like some resistor uh, packs, so it's probably getting a more accurate reading. Whereas the other two thermocouples, I think, are just touching the uh, surface of the board. So yeah, that's overshot to about 83. And the other ones are uh, are slowly catching up. So it's an interesting um, uh, idea having the three, the three thermocouples because you obviously can't rely on the one because it's telling me 83. Now if that was telling me it was at the reflow temperature and I was trying to pull this chip off, it clearly wouldn't be coming off. With the three, if we can get them all up to the reflow temperature, uh, then uh, you know even if we have to wait. For a while for the other two to catch up then that's a far more accurate indication um, of the the real temperature oh of course that might be exactly the the opposite i'm just going to wrap this up to 100 um, yeah in fact it could be that the board temperature or the internal board temperature is uh, is up uh, but because of the coating on the, the surface uh, and the tension or lack of tension on those thermocouple beads on the board is perhaps excuse me producing a an incorrect reading when really the reading is a little bit higher yeah i guess this is not an exact uh, exact science so whether we can move this one around a little bit just see if we can get a better reading now. I'll just put it on to oops, there, it's just on the edge of an IC's pin, and that is now jumping up to what, 70. 
the process value I've got on the front thermocouple is uh, is 85 and uh, that uh, thermocouple I just moved is now jumping up to where we're on uh, 79 and rising so it's obviously important what these beads are touching uh, it's obviously giving a much more accurate reading if it can rest on some solder of a component or a leg yeah that one on the right I just moved has now jumped up to 92 and rising process value is saying it's a hundred and that lights now gone off and these thermocouples are just heading their way up to the hundred region so yeah placement does seem to be uh, absolutely crucial here yeah one on the right is now a hundred process value is 105 and the thermo on the left is uh, 97 so I think we'll just bump this up to the one 20 or thereabouts that we need. There we go, light on. I'm expecting a, uh, a longer soak time will be needed for this bigger IC just to make sure it's all properly up to temperature. The IC itself I've positioned smack bang in the middle of the uh, element and uh, if I had a measure I'd tell you how high above it is let me just go and find some calipers or something right so we're talking the the actual board is about 65 to 70 millimeters above the element and uh, we did read somewhere last night that uh, some of the one of the manufacturers recommended a working distance of 10 to 20 centimeters but uh, I can't see how that could possibly be the case for um, for what we're doing here in fact it would be impossible to achieve an <laughs> 8 inch gap be ridiculous right we have a process value of 123 at the moment uh, the other meters are on 115 and 112, so hopefully that's we're going to let that stabilise. I have not put, uh, I have not cleaned the pins, and I did not put any uh, BGA uh, flux, which is what I used on the other one. There's absolutely no signs of that being uh, ready to come off. So I think we're just going to increase this. Is this set value we're just going to put up to 130 I've nudged the thermocouples out of place so And of course I'm doing something really stupid here. I haven't. I'm trying to remove the chip without uh, the top heat. What an idiot! <laughs> See, too much waffle and not enough thinking. So we're going to fire this heat up, uh, medium air, maximum temperature. And uh, let's just uh, try again. We have measurements of 120 on the thermocouples, 121 on the process value. I don't know how I'm going to get into this without knocking the light again. In fact I'm going to move the light, get it out of the way and then we're just going to use some uh, hot air on here to uh, try and get this up to temperature. problems with this particular hot air system I've got is the air is blowing through a tube and it actually is very easy for the tube to fall off. I'm going to have to make up some sort of clamp. I'm just going to swing that first thermocouple out of the way. It really is in the way. Not 
ready yet. I can't believe I was trying to move that. <laughs> that was a hundred uh, degrees out. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, still no sign of that going anywhere. That was just a little bit of spark from the other thermocouple. As the plastic melted. We're beginning to get movement there. So I'm just going to let that soak. Could be a ground plane on this that we obviously want to make sure is uh, going. And there we go. Hoping my hand didn't uh, completely obscure that. It probably did, didn't it? Sorry about that. It's very hard to get the camera in. Uh, proper position to do this and actually be able to do it. Uh, so yeah that's obviously now cooling down. Um, the thermocouples are saying 150. I'm going to take that one off. Turn these meters off and uh, the process value of the thermocouple that's left is uh, 138 and dropping. So yeah again uh, not too much of a problem, apart from me being a complete idiot trying to lift it at 110, 120. <laughs> I forgot what I was doing. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to play that back, and hopefully you can, you can see that coming off. It's as I say, so hard to film this with all the thermocouples in place and the camera. Um, so yeah, catch you later.